Now we take modulator or generation of DS basis here. The modulation can be assumed in various forms. So the some important category of modulator are discussed as follows. The first modulator is your multiplier modulator. In the multiplier modulator, the analog multiplier is used. And the analog multiplier whose output is proportional to the product of two input signal that can be corresponding to your modulating signal that is your MT and corresponding to your carrier signal that is your post omega CT and both are utilized for the modulation DSPSC process. As per advancement of semiconductor technologies, there are ability of classical modulator and that over the use of multiplier modulator. Now we have two important things regarding modulator of DSPSC signal. The first important thing is that a linear time varied circuit whose gain or transfer function can be varied with time and the best example is your ring modulator and the no linear circuit that have no linear characteristics it can be your semiconductor diode or transistor both can be utilized for modulation process of DSPSC signal and the second important thing is that a time invariant linear system can't be utilized to generate DSPSC signal because such a system can not provide the frequency change in the output. So the linear time variant circuit and no linear circuit are utilized for the modulator circuit of DSBSC signal. Now after multiplier modulator, we have another modulator that is non-linear modulator. And in non-linear modulator, we utilize the devices which have no linear characteristics. So it can be your semiconductor diode or it can be your transistor. The transistor has the advantage or diode that it not only provides the no linear characteristics but it also provides the amplification of the signal. So the transistor in no linear modulator, the transistor are most commonly utilized. Now as per mathematical equation of no linear devices, that is equivalent to AXT plus BX square T. And as per the diagram, at one hour, we have modulating signal MT and at another hour, we have our carrier signal that is our OS omega CT. Corresponding to the diagram, we have the output that is equivalent to ZT that is equal to Y1T minus Y2T. The Y1T corresponding to AX1T plus BX1 square T. Similarly, we have Y2T that is equal to AX2T plus BX2 square T. The most important thing which everyone must remember that the X1T is corresponding to cos omega CT plus MT. And the X2T signal is cos omega CT minus MT means first input signal is carrier signal and the modulating signal is added or it is subtracted so that is corresponding to ds basic signal so in am modulator here is the change now if we have dsb full carrier or amplitude modulator then the carrier signal is added in empty or the carrier signal is subtracted from MT. Here is the only change. So you must remember that in DSBSC non-linear modulator, the modulating signal is added in carrier signal and the modulating signal is subtracted from the carrier signal corresponding to your X1T or corresponding to your X2T.
Now corresponding to x1 t and x2 t, we get the output equation that is equivalent to z t that is equivalent to 2a into m t plus 4b m t cos omega c t. Here we have two terms. The first term is corresponding to modulating signal and the second term corresponding to modulated DS basis signal. So as per our modulator, we required only modulated DS basis signal. So we utilize the band pass filter here and with the help of band pass filter that have centered with respect to our carrier frequency. By utilizing the band pass filter, we get our desired modulated DS basis signal that is corresponding to 4B MT into cos omega CT. And the signal corresponding to modulating signal is filtered out by band pass filter. Now this known linear modulator is known as single balanced modulator. Now as per conclusion, we resulted an important point that now this modulator circuit act as balanced bridge modulator that is balanced with respect to one input and that is your carrier signal because at the input of band pass filter we have the signal corresponding to modulated spectrum and corresponding to modulating signal so the signal corresponding to carrier signal is absent so it is balanced with respect to carrier that is one input so it is also known as single balanced modulator or balanced bridge modulator corresponding to one input R. Now we have the third DSPC modulator which is known as switching or chopper type modulator. The multiplication operation is done by using simple switching operation and in simple switching operation the multiplication of modulating signal is corresponding to any periodic signal and that periodic signal have the fundamental radiation frequency corresponding to carrier signal that is omega c. Now by using trigonometric Fourier series we have mathematical representation of a periodic signal that is phi t that is corresponding to summation c and c n is their coefficient cos and omega c t plus phi. So here the important thing is that the radian frequency is corresponding to carrier signal. So by multiplying this periodic signal corresponding to modulating signal, we get the spectrum corresponding to plus minus omega c, plus minus 2 omega c, plus minus 3 omega c and up to so on. So by utilizing the band pass filter which is centered with respect to plus minus omega c, the output we get that is our desired DSBS signal and that is equivalent to C and MT into cos omega CT plus phi and the phi is zero in our desired modulated DSBS signal. Now we have the special case with respect to periodic signal. Previous expression is corresponding to general form of periodic signal. Now we have particular case of periodic signal that is square pulse strain WT that is shown in the figure. And by utilizing Fourier series we get their mathematical expression WT that is equivalent to 1 by 2 plus 2 by pi bracket start cos omega ct minus 1 by 3 cos 3 omega ct plus 1 by 5 cos 5 omega ct and up to so on. Now this WT signal and MT signal both are multiplied and after band pass filter 
विच इज ट्यून्ड कोरस्पोंडिंग टू प्लस माइनस ओमेगा सी वी गेट द आउटपुट दैट इज इक्वलेंट टू टू बाय पाई इनटू एमटी इनटू कोस ओमेगा सी टी एंड दिस इज आवर डिजायर्ड डबल साइड बैंड सप्रेस्ड कैरियर मोडुलेटेड सिग्नल एस पर कंक्लूजन द मल्टीप्लिकेशन इज कोरस्पोंडिंग टू द स्विचिंग एक्सन सो ड्यू टू दिस दिस type of modulator is known as switching modulator and in the switching operation the modulating signal is switched on and off as per the switching operation so it is known as choker modulator now in switching modulator the circuit is corresponding to series bridge or shunt bridge as shown in the figure now this simple switching operation can be done by utilizing simple switching element and a simple switching element can be electronic switch as diode bridge modulator and which is full wave rectifier in figure a we have the diode connected with respect to full wave rectifier and as per the diagram b and c the diode bridge modulator can be categorized according to series bridge as well as shunt bridge modulator now as per working when the carrier signal is having positive polarity with respect to terminal c and d then all the diode are conduct means all the diode have forward bias condition and all diode are conduct and ideally behave as short circuit now in next half cycle with respect to carrier signal that is your negative half cycle of carrier signal all the diode are reversed bias and behave as open circuit with respect to terminal c and d so as per the forward bias condition and the reverse bias condition the switching operation on and off are occur and this switching operation is corresponding to our carrier signal now the most commonly used modulator and very important as per your exam the third switching modulator is your ring mode and this is also known as double balanced dsbsc modulator in that modulator the switching operation is performed as per the diagram now as per working of ring modulator during the positive half cycle of the carrier the diode d1 and diode d2 are forward bias and conduct the diode d2 and d4 are reverse bias and provide open circuit as per positive half cycle of the carrier signal the output of this ring modulator is proportional to modulating signal mt and you can say plus mt very important similarly during the negative half cycle of the carrier the diode d1 and d3 are reversed bias and provide open circuit and the diode d2 and d4 are forward bias provide conducting part or short circuit here in the negative half cycle of the carrier wave the output of the ring modulator is proportional to minus mt instead of mt so in positive half cycle of the carrier wave the ring modulator output is corresponding to plus mt and in negative half cycle the output of the ring modulator is corresponding to minus mt now by utilizing 
दियोडिक सिग्नल ओमेगा नोट टी विच इज इक्वलेंट टू टू मेगा टी माइनस वन वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट टू मेगा टी माइनस वन बाई यूटिलाइजिंग दिस प्रियोडिक सिग्नल एज कैरियर वे ना दिस प्रियोडिक सिग्नल इज मल्टीप्लाइड विद रिस्पेक्ट टू मोडुलेटिंग सिग्नल corresponding to the diagram of ring modulator we get the output and that is equivalent to 1 by pi mt into cos omega ct after pan pass break now very important point in positive half cycle of the carrier wave this diagram is utilized and in negative half cycle this diagram is utilized As per both diagram, we get the output corresponding to plus M T or minus M T of the ring. For better understanding, I consider the M T signal as per the diagram. I consider omega node T signal as per the mathematical equation. And by utilizing ring modulator, the output is So that is equivalent to four by pi into m t into cos omega c t, and here I put the color coding with respect to positive half cycle and negative half cycle. As per already discussion during the positive half cycle of the carrier wave, the output of the ring modulator is corresponding to plus m t. and during the negative half cycle of the carrier wave the output of the ring modulator is corresponding to minus mt signal so as per the diagram the output modulated signal is represented corresponding to color coding with respect to positive as well as with respect to negative half cycle of the carrier wave and here in the diagram it is clearly mentioned the light color in which the output is corresponding to plus mt the diode d1 and d3 are conduct and as per our dark color this is corresponding to negative half cycle the output is proportional to minus mt and here the diode d2 and d4 are conduct so by utilizing this diagram you have better understanding of ring modulator and that is most commonly utilized modulator and is very important as per your exam the most important outcome of this modulator is that at the input of band pass filter the term corresponding to individual modulating signal or carrier signal or both the input are balanced means at the input of the band pass filter there is no individual term corresponding to modulating signal that is mt or corresponding to carrier signal that is cos omega ct the term present is your mt cos omega ct or mt cos 3 omega ct or mt cos 5 omega ct and up to so on due to balancing with respect to both input of ring modulator corresponding to your modulating signal and corresponding to your carrier signal it is known as double balanced modulator and this is appropriate comparison between single balanced and double balanced in single balanced the input is balanced corresponding to single input it can be your modulating or it can be your carrier but here here in double balanced the input to the band pass filter is corresponding to balancing action or regarding modulating signal or carrier signal so both input are balanced due to this the ring modulator is known as double balanced dsbsc modulator now up to this point 
we covered the first modulate that is multiply modulator second no linear modulator third switch modulator in switch modulator we have three modulator it can be your series bridge it can be your sun bridge or it can be your ring modulator now we have fourth base base modulator that is known as balanced modulator using amplitude modulator now as per amplitude modulator the output is equivalent to ac bracket start 1 plus ka empty bracket close into cos omega ct k is corresponding to your amplitude sensitivity factor as per amplitude modulator 1 we have this output and as per our mod amplitude modulator 2 we have this output by doing the addition we get the resultant corresponding to desired DSPSA signal now in this diagram in the first amplitude modulator block we take empty signal and carry signal and in the second amplitude modulator block we have carry signal and 180 degree phase shifted modulating signal and by doing the subtraction, we get the output that is our desired DSPSC modulated signal. Now we complete our modulator circuit of DSPSC. Here, the ohm learning classes present the summarized outcome about DSPSC modulation technique. Please subscribe this channel for getting regular updates.